So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the contents of this box of awesome. That's right, a first look at the Salsa Anything Cradle Kit. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about traveling with your bike, then definitely subscribe. And also, if you wanna support original bikey content, consider being a microfunder. All the information is below in the description. So jumping right in, we recently got a slew of gear from Salsa uh, around their EXP series. And one of the most interesting pieces of gear in uh, that series is their Anything Cradle kit. So the kit comes with pretty much everything you need. There's a hard plastic cradle, two really beefy aluminum arms that act as attachment hardware, uh, a pair of straps, a dry bag, and also a accessory pouch. So really everything you need to carry stuff on your handlebar and go out the door and go on your adventure. Assembling the cradle itself is fairly straightforward. All you do is you take the aluminum arms and uh, put them on the back of the cradle and use included bolts that have a touch of blue Loctite to uh, attach them to the cradle itself. From there, you just simply use the hinge clamps uh, to attach the arms to your handlebars. Uh, they're sized for 31.8 handlebars. So if you have smaller handlebars, you might have to come up with a shim of your own because these don't include a shim for smaller bars. For those of you that are gram counters, we weighed the weight of the cradle, the arms, and the straps, and it came in at just about 469 grams, so just a touch over a pound. Once you've attached the, the cradle to your handlebars, uh, you take the two straps and you actually weave them through the cradle itself. There's really specific instructions that's included in the box. I'm not gonna go into it, but you do have to remove the male part of the strap to weave it through in a very specific way so that when you attach things that the straps don't move around. So this kit does come with its own dry bag. And uh, in our previous video, when we reviewed the Blackburn stuff, you guys really wanted me to show you what it looks like to stuff things in there. So this is what it looks like to stuff a Big Agnes boot jack, uh, 25 degree sleeping bag into the salsa dry bag. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, from here, one thing that is uh, specific to this dry bag is that there are two Velcro loops at the top. This facilitates you mounting the dry bag uh, onto the harness. So you wanna take the two little Velcro tabs and use it to kind of hold the dry bag in place uh, while you more securely adjust the main straps. Another feature of the dry bag is there are two cutouts in the front and you can use this to weave the straps through, adding yet another point of uh, secure attachment to the system. And that's actually pretty much it if you want to run just the dry bag. And of course, uh, you can use other dry bags if you want, if you have a specific one that you really like. Uh, you're not necessarily wedded to the salsa one, but it is nice that it's included in this kit. If you want to use accessory pouch, you will have to adjust the straps so that you can mount it nicely on the dry bag. So what do I like and dislike about the Anything Cradle kit? A couple days ago, we reviewed the Blackburn system and uh, one of uh, my main qualms about that was that it was made out of plastic and I had some doubts about its durability over the long term. Uh, the Salsa Anything Cradle seems to address a lot of those issues. Uh, there's no quick release uh, feature to fail and the uh, mounting system itself is this really beefy aluminum uh, that's gonna take a lot to break if it's gonna break at all. So another thing I, I really like about this harness system is that the arms uh, really push out the load so it's easy to mount it to your mountain bike. You don't have to thread the dry bag behind your front uh, brake cable and in front of your right shifter and brake cable. The arms themselves push the entire load in front of all the cabling so you don't have to worry about kinking or damaging any of your uh, brake or shifter cables. One thing to note about mounting it, they do kind of recommend tilting uh, the arms down. This will bring the load a little bit closer into the bike so you don't have like this big weight in front, cantilevered in front of the bike that'll really affect your steering. If there are any drawbacks to, to this system, I'd say uh, if you're a super weight weenie, then weight might be a factor. Another potential downside is that although this hardware is a lot beefier than say, uh, the hardware that was included with the Blackburn stuff, uh, it's still hardware. You know, it could potentially break, the, crack, the plastic could crack, something could happen to the aluminum mount. So there is still that kind of potential for failure uh, that you wouldn't get if you were using a completely uh, soft mounting system. That said, 
uh, looking at the mounts, just playing with the mounts, handling them. Uh, it looks really beefy and burly and it's gonna take a lot to really break these things. And one last potential drawback, uh, we'll have to test this when we actually take it on the trip, is uh, is the mount, is the clamping force of the mounts enough that the whole uh, bag and everything won't rotate when you're going over rough terrain. Uh, only time will tell, really. I did a couple of drop tests where I marked the clamp to the handlebar and kind of just dropped the front wheel of the bike with an actual load uh, from about you know eight to a foot tall off the ground. And so far, uh, the markings haven't moved, indicating that the load hasn't shifted. Again, this is just a first look and I just wanted to see generally how the, the clamping forces would hold. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, we are planning to take uh, this bag as well as the other EXP series bags out on a trip. And we'll do a more in-depth review then. If you guys have any questions about the Anything Cradle kit, leave those in the comments below. Uh, if you've actually used this, let me know your experiences. Leave those in the comments below. Did it hold up over a long-term trip? We'd love to know ourselves. And do you guys have any tips and tricks on using uh, the harness? Let us know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, consider being a microfunder and keep supporting original bikey content. So thanks for watching.